All right, crypto dads and future crypto ninjas, welcome back to Dads Gone Crypto. Today, we're breaking down something massive in the Unity Network. So finally, we at that point where everyday people, yes, even us dads with dodgy Wi-Fi and kids yelling in the background, <laughs> can start participating directly in this new decentralized telecommunication revolution. So today's episode is your official step-by-step -step guide on how to download Unity, how to install the SDK, and get your phone ready for the start of earning rewards when they go live. So no jargon, no stress, just walking you through everything slowly, clearly, um, you know, and, and the patience of a dad explaining Minecraft <laughs> to his son. So let's dive into it. Before we get going, What's coming up with Unity and why do we have to download the SDK? So it's the first phase. While they're waiting for approval on the Android store and as well as the iOS store, you know, they've released a SDK, right? And, and what is an SDK? Well, it's a software development kit, which is basically a smaller booster pack for your phone. So it kind of can speak the language of the Unity language. So think about it as a like a, a brand new radio station. Your phone is the radio. The SDK is the antenna that lets your radio actually tune into the broadcast. So without the SDK, your phone can't hear the packets, all right, those little things that happen in the background. And with the SDK, you're plugged into the Unity network and ready for action. All right, so while Android is waiting to approve it, uh, we're expecting on the 29th of November or the 30th to go live. So let's just say that uh, it's not approved by that time. All right, then of course you need to know how to set up your SDK. Yeah, it's fairly easy, but you know, obviously there's a couple of things that you know can can really be a little bit tricky. So I'm just going to go step by step guide as your dad's explaining to you how to do it, so that you're prepared because day one you want to start earning some rewards uh, by you know obviously participating on the telco network all right so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go through to the minutes x platform so you go to you just type in in this little search box minutes network token and then like okay, ours pops up you can see it's one of my favorites <laughs> so as you get onto yeah you'll just kind of read what's happening and you'll actually just page down over here you can go to the unity sites as well i'll just i'll just kind of got it from this site you page down and over here uh, it says here, the first public re release of Unity Android ABK is now available. Uh, and this is the link over here, release.unitynodes.io uh, forward slash unity dash blah, 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 blah. All right. So the easiest way to do this is, of course, just copy. All right. And then a little tip and trick. Go to something called, I'll tell you now, bit.bitly. Bitly is a short URL link. Okay, so if you're setting up more than one phone for the family, this is the easiest way. You don't want to be typing this into your browser. Um, so you basically play, paste it in here, control V, and it'll create and call it uh, bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, forward slash Unity or one, Unity two, or even your name. And then basically when you put, put, punch that into, when you punch that into your browser bar, then it's easy to find it, all right? So it's just a hack because when you're doing multiple devices, it can be quite tricky. First and foremost, don't get it from anybody else. Make sure you download it over there and you don't want to be putting any dodgy stuff on your phone. Okay, cool. So now we're going to go through to show you what it looks like. I'm going to screencast one of the mobile phones that I've set up. Well, going to set up. I've deleted it. Now I'm setting it up again. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so here we go. So here is my mobile device. It's a cheapy uh, Moby Cell, <laughs> some cool uh, little cheap dodgy phone. There it is. So first and foremost, when getting a new phone, I'm only going to be using this to, to, to mine Unity. So you're going to have to set up your Google. Once you set Google address, click on remember my actions because when you're setting up multiple devices, a little hack trick here, your history will be available for you. You know, I'll have, I'll use the same address for multiple phones and then I just click in history and then it has the SDK, which I'll show you shortly. So I'm going to be looking at my phone over here. You guys are going to be looking at the screen over there. Let's just check. Yeah, that's all cool. So let me switch this guy on. Let me unlock the phone, go to your browser. So open up a browser. Boom. Now, remember, we've already set up our Gmail account. 
Okay, cool. So I'm going to go to the top three little buttons at the top, and then I'm going to go to history. Let's hope there's no dodgy sites there. <laughs> so you can see I've put it in already. I've got, I've created a rebrand. It's, it's like Bitly, which I've just made it easier for me, but I'm going to go, I'm just literally going to click this little button over here. It's going to ask me to download again. All right, I'm just going to click download. Okay, cool. So I'm going to click details. And it says, yeah, okay, it's busy downloading. Cool, I'm happy with that. So now what I want to do, so I'm going to click on Chrome. Now it says open. So then I click over here. Then I click uh, or I double click on it. Staging app. Now it says yeah, for security purposes, your phone currently isn't allowed to install the unknown app for the source. You can change this in settings. So it is a security feature. If your mobile phone just kicks you out of it, says it cannot download, it cannot initiate this app, right? I'll show you another way shortly, but now I'm gonna click on settings. Now allow the source. All right, so install unknown app, allow the source. Would you like to install it? Yes. Let's see what happens. App installed, and now we can open it. All right, let's say it didn't allow you. You're gonna go back to home. You're gonna go back to the main screen. You're gonna page up. You're gonna click on settings. You're gonna go to apps. Click on apps for me. So where you wanna go, you wanna go to an app. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom. Special app access, because now we gotta enable the app. So now we gotta to go to install unknown apps because it's a foreign APK. It's a foreign APK. Then where it says your yeah, Chrome, it's now allowed. You click on it, and then of course you'll just enable it. All right, that's the only one that you need to enable. It's enabled from the previous screen, but this will be off. You switch it on, right? Then you go back to the main screen, and then you go back to over here. You'll click on uh, files. Inside downloads, there's the file, click the two buttons and click install. And that's another way of getting through to it. You'll have a files directory on, on your main screen, but that's all good. I am A for away. So let's go back to the main screen. Let's have a look. There's the Unity app over there. So I click on the Unity app. Depending on how much RAM you have, so I've got a few different phones I'm going to be testing throughout the week. I've got one, RAM, one gig of RAM, two gigs of RAM, four gigs of RAM. So I've got various entry-level ones. I want to see if there's any difference in earnings, difference in speed, if difference in you know um, activities that Unity will give the different phones. Um, so I want to test. I'm going to be testing. So yeah, it pops up. Sometimes on your, on your one gig RAM phones, um, this kind of stalls. You just go back into it. Uh, you just go out and back into it. So I guess get, let's get started. Okay, so there's three options here. If you're a node operator, you click on this and then you'll connect your wallet. It's not advised uh, to connect your wallet on your mobile phone because that means you have your NFT, which might be worth a whole lot in the future on your phone, which is not a good idea. You, you have to wait for the desktop version where you can use your cold wallets or your ledger. That's the way to go. So, and then if you are a licensed operator, so if you've joined the Dad's Minus Cut Alpha group from buying Dad merch, you'll click on this button over here, license operator. We will give you a code and basically you'll start earning uh, rewards when it goes live. Claim your license, you can click here. So this is if you don't know anybody that's got licenses, you can choose who you want. So they've got a the Unity node operator gets 60% uh, and the Unity license operator gets 40%. So which means uh, right now these guys are, they have a 30% uptime. So I don't really like that one. 70%, 30%, you can choose which one you want. Eventually these will all be sold out because of the demand. So um, then you obviously can come to the Dad's Gone Crypto site, uh, the merch store, buy some merch, and we have quite a few licenses, which we are building a Dad community. So that's in a nutshell how to set up your SDK. I've set up a few more things. I'm using AirDroid to screencast, so I can log into each of the phones. Um, and then the nice cool part about AirDroid is when I load one application i can load it into all the ones that are on the network and then there's just my data manager uh, i'm still playing around with this just to see how much uh, bandwidth and wi-fi is being used 
and so forth. So I'm just trying to set up certain tools. Let's close that. Okay, so that's basically it uh, from the setup point of view. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, make sure when you set up your Google account, you have uh, you put on a save history because if you're setting up multiple devices for your family, of course, um, it's just easy to run through it. Or you can wait for the Play Store or the iOS Store, uh, the Apple Store to have the, the Unity uh, apps to download. If, however, it's not available, they said by the 29th of November, 2025, it goes live. So then you're going to need to install the SDK, and I've just shown you how to. Um, if you guys are looking for um, more licenses and you want to join our dad's community, we are basically have this alpha minus cut community where it's an inner alpha group where you'll get access to potential licenses. You'll have early opportunities. We've got something massive coming in the pipelines, which we'll be a part of. We, you know, we, we deep dive into the education. We're very close to the team. So as the news breaks, you guys will be notified. Um, it is private, so it's not open to the, the general public. The idea is that we're in a community. We're a bunch of dads that are wanting to get ahead in crypto and wanting to get ahead for our families. And that's what their group's about. So, um, yeah, if you guys are wanting to get involved, all you have to do is head on over to our dad merch store, grab some merch, then you'll get access to the alpha minus cut. Um, and then, yeah, basically your journey starts. And we are looking to get more nodes as we go along. And that means more opportunities, of course. So let me just quickly show you what the store looks like. Head on over here to the dad's crypto gear store. Uh, so it is dad's crypto gear.myshopify.com. All right, and you click over here. That's myself and Ryan fishing for Unity. You got the DGC collection over here. So if you buy any of these tees, shirts, mugs, caps, yes, it's at a higher premium, $99, but you will get your own Unity license, which you own. Uh, we will airdrop it once we've received our batch. That becomes yours. And also, by purchasing some of the merch, you are helping to grow the uh, Dazgon Crypto channel. And if you want to be part, more part of the, you know, the collective group where there's a revenue split of 80-20 or 50-50, you'll head on over to, let's say, DGC Unity, not that one, sorry, Tees. And then you'll see the normal price of the Tees. This is BD, a bullish dad brand, uh, which is pretty cool. And you can see $34, $34. So not only are you supporting the channel by buying merch, but if you buy two or more, then you will get a license with an 80-20 split. If you decide just to buy one item, which is by well, all means appreciated, um, like let's say you buy one phone cover, then you'll still get a Unity license from us uh, at a 50-50 split. We've got phones, we've got some cool caps, and we're going to be loading some more merch over there. And you'll see Ryan on the next show wearing some of the dad merch as well. So it's very, very cool stuff. So guys, head on over to the Dad's Gone Crypto gear store and get some merch and join the Miners Alpha Club and uh, happy mining. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. The material and information presented in this recording are for entertainment purposes only. Do not misconstrue what you hear as investment or trading advice. Always do your own research. The views, thoughts, and opinions expressed by the guests on this recording are their own and do not necessarily reflect those of Dad's Gone Crypto or its hosts.